Good afternoon, and welcome to this time of worship and a Good Friday reflection. Today, we are going to observe a service of tenenbrae. Now, this is a Latin word, and it means shadows or darkness. Tenenbrae is a prayer service of shadows. In this service, we walk alongside Jesus, and we observe the events that occur on his darkening path towards his death, where he is killed by human hands. And through the reading of scripture and the successive extinguishing of light in the sanctuary, we are invited to enter into the dramatic narrative of Jesus' betrayal, arrest, and crucifixion. This tenebrae service will be done in the style of Taizé, a distinctive style of meditative prayer that was developed by an ecumenical Christian community in Taizé, France. A typical Taizé prayer service incorporates periods of silence with reading from scripture, as well as the singing of simple contemplative songs or chants based on the Psalms and other portions of scripture. And these verses from song will be repeated over and over again as the spirit leads to allow a meditative environment for the heart to sing and to reach God and to move us from the space of the head into the space of the heart. You'll find the music to all of the songs in the, uh, except one, in the uh, soft cover uh, Black Faith We Sing songbook uh, as well, all of the song lyrics will be projected on the screen in front of you. One song, Jesus Remember Me, will be found in the hardbound United Methodist Hymnal. The lyrics of that also will be projected on the screen. We begin this service with a look back to the beginning of Lent on Ash Wednesday when we lit candles to demonstrate our willingness to travel alongside Jesus on this Lenten journey. During our opening hymn in just a moment, you will be invited to come forward carrying your candle and from one of these lit candles to light your own, to demonstrate your continued commitment to walk alongside Jesus on this darkened path. We invite you to tip your unlit candle to any one of the lit candles here and then to bring it and to place it into one of the bowls of sand, any of the three. And a word to the wise, as you place your candle in the tray, please place them toward the back at the beginning and then move forward so that those who follow behind you will not be reaching over the already lit candles. We begin this procession of light by singing, in the Lord I'll be ever thankful. Thankful 
God is light in whom there is no darkness at all. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light has come into the world. And this is the judgment. We love the darkness more than the light. With one voice, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Matthew 26, 20 to 25. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve disciples. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Jesus, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. Thank you. 
Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, my soul is deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and he said to Peter, so could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, he went away for the second time and prayed, my father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Now the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up! Let us be going. Look, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign saying, the one I will kiss is the man, arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, greetings rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him.
Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A female servant came to him and said, You also were Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the porch, another female servant saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse, and he swore an oath, I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, So you say. And when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they are making against you? But he gave him no answer not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. So the governor said to them again, Which of the two do you want me to release to you? And they said, Barabbas. And Pilate said to them, Well then, what should I do with Jesus? And they said, let him be crucified. Then Pilate asked, why? What evil has he done? And the crowd shouted all the more, let him be crucified. So Pilate, when he saw that he could do nothing, but rather that the riot was beginning, he took some water and he washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent 
of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, his blood is on us and on our children. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers and the governor took Jesus to the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him, and they put a scarlet robe upon him. And after twisting some thorns together, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his hand, and they knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. After mocking Jesus, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. And then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two rebels were crucified with him, 
one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and the elders, were mocking him and saying, he saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now if he wants to, for he said, I'm God's son. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani? That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge and filled it with sour wine and put it on a stick and gave to Jesus to drink. But the others said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now, when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, truly, this man was the son of God. Thank you. 
when it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also was himself a disciple of Jesus. And he went to Pilate, and he asked for the body of Jesus. And then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. to clear the narrow street but the crowds burst in to see the man condemned to die on Calvary he was bleeding from a beating there were stripes upon on his back and he wore a crown of thorns upon his head and he bore with every step the scorn of those who cried out for his death Don Maria Dolorosa called the way of suffering like a lamb came the messiah christ the king but he chose to walk that road out of his love for you and me down the via dolorosa all the way to Calvary. The blood that would cleanse the hearts of all men make its way through the heart of Jerusalem. Called the way of suffering Like a lamb came the Messiah Christ the King But he chose to walk that road Out of his love For you and me Down the Via Dolorosa all the way to Calvary. Go in peace. And may Jesus Christ, who came for us, obedient unto death, even death on a cross, keep you and strengthen you this day and forever. 
Amen.